way to describe what we do and who we serve is to put a face on it. I would like to tell you about Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Roberts has lived in her two-bedroom home for the last 40 years. She has diabetes, hypertension, she's had one major stroke, she has some memory problems that we're monitoring. Her eyesight is failing because of her diabetes and she needs to use a walker to get around. She has a sign on the front of her walker that says, want to race? She attends our program four days a week. We provide the services that keep her at home. Mrs. Robert, Roberts is adamant about staying at home. I've asked her why she doesn't live with her children or why they don't live with her. She says they have their lives and she would never want to be a burden. Besides, I'm their mother, she says. I asked her what would happen if she didn't have the center and she looked at me straight in the eye and she said, I would just die if I had to move into a nursing home. Leaving this house would tear the heart out of my life. There are anywhere from 30 to 100 versions of Mrs. Roberts in every adult day health center in the state. The budget cuts put us all at risk and all of our Mrs. Roberts. I have had to lay off two people with families to try and meet proposed cuts. I have had staff volunteer to reduce their hours and work for free. Others have offered to take time off without pay. We have taken many of them, most of them, up on their offers. These are my plans to meet threatened cuts. But I can't even finalize those plans yet because there is no budget. We have secured a loan, but that is even limited because we will have to pay it back with money that will have to come from additional fundraising. There is only so much fundraising you can do when your costs already hit a quarter of a million dollars. All I want to do is give Mrs. Roberts the care she needs to stay at home. But instead, I'm creating different budget scenarios to try and meet proposed threats. I'm trying to figure out how to pay back the loans that I wouldn't need if the state would just pay me what they owed me. But I'm doing it for Mrs. Roberts. I asked Mrs. Roberts to come with me today. She said, no, honey, you go fight that fight for me. I can't speak politics. But if those politicians want a lesson in how to make ends meet, you tell them this. I have been making ends meet with very little my whole life. You have to cut out the frivolous stuff first, not the necessities, mind you. Then you bring in more money every way you can. You don't do it by talking and doing nothing. It's never easy and rarely popular, but it must be done. It's time to get her done. In the words of Mrs. Roberts, with all due respect, it is time to get her done. Thank you.